it's Joe V from 4x5 Photography. In this video we're going to talk about the different options you have for uh, film holders that uh, attach to your film bag for large format 4x5 photography. So let's get right to it. Now there's a number of options for holding your film and attaching it to your 4x5 camera. I'm going to show you some of the three what I consider to be most popular, certainly the three that I use most often. And the first is the standard film holder, holds two sheets of 4x5 film, has a dark slide, simple to put film in and get film out, and you can carry as many of these as you want with film. The good thing about a uh, standard film holder here is uh, what I'll often do is I'm usually shooting multiple uh, types of films, and so I, I want to be prepared when I get out in the field for whatever my shooting needs, uh, whatever the requirements are. So I want to carry multiple uh, film holders with different types of film uh, and uh, really pull out what I need. These are perfect for that. I can load two sheets here, I can take as many as I need, and I can keep track of what the film is by writing it on here and uh, really uh, have what I need accessible very quickly. So that's the advantage of a standard film holder. Limitations there really are just that it's two sheets of film, and if I'm doing any serious shooting or if I'm going on a trip, you got to have an awful lot of these uh, if you're not able to unload them and reload them while you're either in the field or traveling. So uh, one of the limitations, there's actually another advantage of this when we look at um, how the, this and the other uh, film holder options mount on the back of the camera, but we'll get into that towards the end of the uh, the video. So the next option is uh, something like this. This is a Graphmatic film holder and what this is, it actually looks on this side almost exactly like a standard film holder and it basically is. It holds a 4x5 sheet, sheet of film. It has a dark slide that you pull out when you're ready to shoot and uh, the difference is that this will hold six sheets of film. So within this unit, there are six plenums that hold six sheets of film that you load. And what you can do is, after you've taken your image, all right, you can open this up. That plenum and that sheet of film pops to the back. You push this back in, and then you've got another plenum here ready to shoot. And you can do that six times. It's uh, got a counter on it, so you can keep track of uh, how many sheets you are uh, shooting and what's in there and this uh, is very handy when like I say you're traveling and you're out in the field and instead of having six of these or I'm sorry three of these I've got one of these a uh, little more uh, work when you're capturing an image to get this mounted on the back of the camera and again we'll show those at the end but uh, very very handy when you know you're going out and you basically know uh, for me at least, I know I'm going to be shooting one particular type of film with this. So I, I won't load this with multiple types of film. It's just too hard to keep track of how many are of a particular type and what order they're in. So a uh, limitation here for me is one type of film, six sheets, but uh, carrying wise, if I, had a, if I have a f couple or a few of these, I can carry uh, quite a bit of film. Um, in a smaller space than, uh, than I can with the standard film holder. So those are two options for 4x5. Some of you may also uh, get into shooting medium format with your, uh, with your 4x5 camera. And uh, I don't shoot a lot of medium format, but I do shoot some. And the option here for medium format is to buy a medium format film back that allows you to load a roll of film, advance it, and basically same workflow as a 4x5. You've got a dark slide here which I won't open because this has film loaded. Uh, I'm going I'm to pull the slide, I'm, I'm going to get my image, I'm going to, on the ground glass, I'm going to then mount this on the back, open my dark slide, capture an image, close it, and advance the film. And so that way uh, I've got basically multiple uh, you know, I've got a whole roll of film here, so uh, I, can, I can shoot quite a bit out in the field, and uh, I can shoot a number of different types of film. So any, 
any 120 um, any 120 millimeter film that I care to shoot. In this case, it's uh, Fuji Velvia 50 classic slide film or E6 e film. Uh, then uh, I'm all set to go. Now there there are different sizes for these 120 film backs. So this is a two by three or basically a six by nine aperture or film negative size. Okay. You've also got 6x7, which you can see is a little smaller. Okay. And then there's the classic 6x6. Uh, I'll show you what I use these for in a minute. But that's your option if you want to shoot with your large format camera, a little smaller, uh, little smaller film, uh, but still much larger than 35 millimeter. So these come in various options right up through uh, 6 by 12 uh, which is even larger than this and you can even get some that are panoramic depending on whether your camera can handle a uh, panoramic or very wide uh, negative. Now let's talk about mounting. Now, if I'm working with a standard film holder that's going to go into my film back and I'm going to remove my dark slide, take an image, flip it over so that I know that it's exposed, back in and then flip it over for my next image after getting it set up and I'm ready to go. Fast, easy, and probably the most flexible. Next option is my six sheet Graphmatic film holder. And this is pretty much the same as, uh, let me get it in the camera here, as my standard film back. It goes in under the, uh, the spring back here. I'm gonna take my image manipulate uh, the slide, move to the next plenum, the next sheet of film, and keep track of six shots. And of course I'm in between shots if I'm changing. Obviously I have to pull it out like with the standard, uh, recompose and refocus, and then it goes back in. Now the third type is our medium format film back. So if you want to shoot medium format, like I said, multiple options and sizes here but the challenge we've got right off the bat is obvious and that is that the negative side for negative size for the medium format is significantly smaller than the negative size and the size of my ground glass for uh, 4 by 5 film so my challenge is and, and you'll have it too when you decide that you want to shoot medium format is what are the boundaries of the film on the ground glass and so what I do is I've created these templates and I have uh, film backs uh, for each of these sizes 6x6, 6x7 and in the case of the one that we're showing here uh, 6x9 or 2x3 as it says on the film back and what I'll do is I will place these inside my ground glass here flatten them out and really use these for um, get in here right. use these for focusing prior to putting my uh, back onto here. And so I've cut these. You see it's a little off center and, and that's just, it's actually centered, but it, that's actually the exact point at which the negative uh, inter interacts uh, at that point on the ground glass. So I can do all of my composition and focusing based on these templates and know exactly where my image is going to be. And these are created very simply by cutting something the size of the square here so that it fits in and uh, measuring from this line on the ground glass you can see I've, I've used some box, uh, you know, cereal box uh, containers that I've cut up here and then marking out the boundaries of your medium format film. Same here in this case with uh, 6 by 6 film so 6 by 6 squares and I use these then each time I'm coming up, depending on the size film that I'm shooting, I will use these for composition and focus. So that's the first challenge you got to work through. The second is uh, once, you, once you've got your composition and your focus set, this is obviously not going to slide in here because of the width, the thickness, uh, like the standard or the uh, graphmatic film holder. And so to be able to use a medium format film back, or really any film back of this type, 
I have to have on the back of my camera a graphmatic back. And the graphmatic back is different from the older models, in this case uh, of a crown, a gra a Graflex crown uh, camera, and uh, even on many 4x5 cameras, the Graflock back is a standard uh, that was started, uh, that came out as a part of the uh, components with the, graph, the uh, crown graphic uh, as it became popular. And what this can do, as opposed to just a simple spring back, which is permanently attached, is I can remove the ground glass. Now, this is the challenge with medium format, so I've imagined this, I've got my camera mounted, composition is set, focus is set, now I've got to start manipulating things, so I've got to be careful that I don't throw off uh, any of my settings. And then what we're doing is we are mounting this and using these sliding uh, pins here to, to hold it. And then this sits, and uh, if I'm shooting, for example, uh, portraits using medium format, which is often what I, what I will use it for, uh, I'll set my camera up to be in a permanent position. I'll get all the lighting set uh, if it's indoors uh, and uh, composition focus. And then I can shoot multiple shots with, my, uh, with the person who's in the image, um, you know, moving around but within frame. So uh, you have to have a graph lock back to be able to use one of these. And uh, like I said, a little more challenging for setup because it's not as simple as... Uh, sliding in a holder like it would be on the others, but it gives you an option for using medium format on your large format camera. So medium format, a six sheet Graphmatic film holder, and then of course the uh, old mainstay which is your two sheet film holder are really the most basic options for shooting and using your large format camera. Thanks for watching. And uh, please subscribe and more videos will be coming on how to use and enjoy large format photography and the basic equipment you need to be able to get into this hobby at a reasonable price and uh, enjoy the benefits of crafting images with your own hands. This is Joe, Joe V for 4x5 Photography. We'll see you next time.